Hi, I'm Jack Weeks. For GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the nation's leader in fluid power training, troubleshooting, and reliability. I've been told, and my own personal experience kind of bears this out, that over 90% of hydraulic failures are the direct result of improper care of the fluid. Did you know that we're distributors for Como flushing machines? I'd like to show you a little demonstration of just what some of these machines can do. We can have these built to your specifications and we have several standard models available. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Chris Dellinger, consultant here at GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the nation's leader in training, troubleshooting, and any reliability services. Today, uh, we want to come out here and give you a little demonstration of our Como flushing machine. Uh, we decided to do it outside today, since it's such a beautiful day. Uh, just want to go over a few features that we have here on this uh, flushing machine. Uh, this is a Model 120 uh, flushing machine system. Uh, we can have them make you a custom machine. So it can be any machine there to fit your system or fit your needs in particular. Uh, they make uh, many different styles of flushing machine. This particular machine has a 5 GPM hydraulic pump, has a relief valve here set at 60 PSI. Uh, we've got a pressure switch, uh, two canister filter. All right, so we have a three-way hand valve here. Uh, for uh, one we can with it being in this angle here for filtration if we were to switch this hand valve down We can now bypass the filters and just for any oil transfer not going through the filters But we want to keep that in the upright position when we are filtering. There's a suction strainer on this machine as well uh, This particular model also has a particle counter so it'll give you any specific ISO uh, code so we know uh, exactly what uh, what our particle count is in this particular machine. Uh, we're going to take this filter apart. We're going to take it uh, out of the canister. What we want to do is we want to unloosen these bolts here. And I've already kind of loosened them up, make it a little quicker here. We'll take our clamp off, number one. We're going to keep our bolts together. Take the top off. We're going to undo our little bolt here that keeps the filter in place. We'll keep everything together and we can pull our filter out right there. This filter is what they would consider a depth filter. It is going to filter anything down to one micron. This filter in particular does filter out water that may be in the oil. Each filter can hold up to one gallon or just about one gallon of water. Put the filter in, put it down. We want to tighten our bolt back up first. we get a good and snug it'll actually stop when you're at the bottom there top on and we put our clamp back together make sure we tighten that up well so we don't have any leaks all right so we mentioned the uh, pressure switch what this does this allows us virtually allow this machine to run unattended uh, so we don't necessarily have to be near the machine while it's running uh, what this pressure switch will do is once the pressure increases to about 50 PSI, once the, uh, the filters start to get plugged and get a lot of contamination, pressure increases uh, to about 50 PSI, it'll shut the machine off. Uh, that way, uh, we don't have any damage uh, to the machine itself. Now, if the pressure switch were to fail, we do have, again, we mentioned the relief valve. It's set at 60 PSI. So uh, if we get above 60, then the relief valve will dump, allowing, uh, again, no, no damage to the system. Also, 
we got these bleeder valves here on our canisters. Uh, much like every other filter, we got to make sure we bleed the air off when installing a new filter. What we want to do is we want to turn these fully counterclockwise before we start the machine. Now when we start the machine up, uh, any oil, the oil, the canisters are going to start to fill with oil. We're going to start filling up, pushing the air out of the system. Once the air stops coming out and we get nothing but oil out of here, we want to go ahead and close those back off by turning them clockwise. All right, so now I want to demonstrate how well uh, these filters are going to work. So what we got here is we got a bucket of new oil. Now, we need to remember that new oil is not clean. So we should always filter our oil before we put it into the reservoir. This oil here, you can tell, it's not exactly clean, 100% uh, clean, but it's fairly clean. It is new out of a five-gallon drum. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to this oil. I'm going to add uh, almost about a gallon of water to the oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter it, and I'm going to show you the results of, 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 the new, of the clean oil coming out. Now we got a gallon of water there. We'll mix it up a little bit. Get it nice, contaminated. Right. We'll cut our machine on. Give it just a few minutes to go through the filters. We're going to look and see this oil coming out. You can see here the oil coming has been through the filters, coming out. Now it's a whole lot different. And a whole lot cleaner than what it was in that first bucket. We are a distributor for Como uh, flushing machines. So if you'd like to purchase a flushing machine for use at your plant, or if you'd like us to come out and do flushing for you, we do uh, flushing on systems 500 gallons or less. Uh, if you'd like this, give us a call at 770-267-3787 or email us at gpm at gpmhydraulic.com.